is now the second edition of the Arnold Classic Africa and has grown tremendously as we all discussed earlier over the period of just one year. How do you see the future of this event and all the other Arnold Classics um, and what the impact's going to be here and in the communities around us? Well, I think the one idea is to promote health and fitness worldwide. And, uh, you know, this is why for us it's very important to uh, include as many sports as possible. So the more sports come together, like in Columbus, Ohio, we have now over 70 sports. And here it will grow all the time. I think that basically we are saying that we believe in health and fitness, but not to pick winners or losers. We don't say bodybuilding is the only way to stay fit. We don't say being the world's strongest man is the only way to stay fit. We don't say soccer is the only way. No, we say all of those sports. Every, of the, every one of those sports that participate in our classic, we respect the it fullest. And we, we welcome them. And they all send a message to families in South Africa to say, come on out and participate. This is why I say this is like the ultimate Olympic Games for the ordinary folks, for families. Uh, doesn't matter where you come from, anyone can come in and participate. That's what it's all about. Now, before I finish, I just wanted to say, ask Wayne. Because Wayne didn't say much yet. <laughs> and I want to make sure, I want to make sure that we know what is for Wayne the biggest challenge to run a uh, huge event like this and to do a partnership with the government and uh, you know with all the deal with all these different sports because we have been doing it now for decades in Columbus, Ohio and in other continents but for you this is new this is like the second time you've been doing this now even though you come from the body of the background to honor thank you um